All right, you guys, welcome to another full day of eating a ton of carbs. We are going in today. I have been low carb since Saturday. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, five full days of low carb. We are ready to push the carbs in the body. Make sure we hold on to the lean muscle mass that we have and enjoy some delicious food. So today we woke up at 180.6. The physique is right there. You see me first thing in the morning, no fluids, just right out of bed, right off the scale, right after the bathroom. Today we are 16 days out from show day. Can't believe we're that close, but we are here. We still have work to do. It's not up until about seven days out to know whether or not the work is done, maybe even six days. Right now at 16 days out, we still have some work to do. We still have some fat to get off the body and holding on to size is still a priority. And that's why we're still going a few low carb days and then high carb, get a nice refeed, get the carbs back into the body, get the energy back up, make sure the workouts are staying legit because when you're energy is super low and calories are low, your workouts will suffer. I actually have my first photo shoot on Saturday. So in two days, I have a photo shoot, my very first one, and I wanna make sure I'm on point for it. And that's why I'm gonna carb up now, which is Thursday, and then let the carbs continue to work all day today and then tomorrow. And then on Saturday, we should wake up ready to go. Right now we have Cinnamon Toast Crunch, the knockoff. This is rice cereal, which is gonna be super legit when we're talking about digesting very well. Tastes pretty good. The cost is right on point. And it's a good source of carbs and vitamins. So this used to be my go-to back in the day and I haven't eaten it since. And that's like two, three years ago, maybe. So pulling it back in just because I want some cereal this morning. And you guys know I use protein powder for the milk. Just 32 grams of protein powder for me, which is going to give me 24, 25 grams of protein. And then we have three servings of cereal. So we got a ton of carbs in here. What I've noticed for my other refeeds is that a lot of the carbs have to be consumed at night when I'm about to go to bed simply because I don't prioritize them during the daytime. So today I'm gonna do things differently so you guys are in for a good treat, but we're gonna be eating carbs during the day. We're gonna be loading up during the day and not waiting until the end. So if you are subscribed, subscribe right now, follow the journey. We're on our way to get that pro card in July, but this first show, very, very important. We need to grab that overall. So in 16 days, we'll be on that stage. I'm going to finish this meal and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. All right, you guys, before I wake the kids up, I'm going to go ahead and have another three servings of the cereal. Why? Because it was super good and it actually was about 90 something carbs. Again, need to make sure I'm pushing my carbs earlier in the day and not wait until the last minute. If you remember my last full day of eating with a refeed, I only was able to get, I think, 700 carbs in. And that's because it was bedtime and it, nah, it wasn't happening. So let's see what the macronutrients are for these two bowls. This is four scoops of protein powder, but for the cellular core protein powder, two scoops equals one in most protein powders. So still only 48 to 50 grams of protein. So we'll go ahead and put that in now. All right, so for these two bowls, which would technically be my breakfast, I'm breaking the fast, my first meals of the day. The macronutrients come up to 29 grams of fat, 198 carbs, and 66 grams of protein, a total of 1,260 calories. So that right there, right on point. First thing in the morning, getting my calories in, getting my protein, getting my carbs, and enjoying it. So you hear a lot of misconceptions about refeed days. Some people use it as binging days, days to just eat carbs and binge. Some people actually use a refeed for what it is. There's nothing wrong with a refeed. Yes, you could halt a little bit of fat loss if you go about it the wrong way, because technically if you were to push low carb and just continue to push, continue to dig, continue to dig, continue to dig, you will get shredded. Now, when we throw in these refeeds, again, we are adding energy to our body. Well, you notice with the low carb days, you're dragging, you're feeling miserable. You throw in some carbs, now you got your energy back up. You throw in some carbs, now you got your workouts back on point. You throw in some carbs, now you got your sanity back. So there's a lot of different reasons on why you should have refeed days. Again, this time around, I went five days low carb, and then today is my hard carb day. Before, I was doing three low carb days and then doing a hard carb day. And I also was doing two high carb days back to back. So this time around, I'm only going to do this one high carb day, and tomorrow I'm going to go back to my low carb. All right, you guys, that is the two meals right here. I'm going to catch you guys at the next meal. 
I always go pescatarian towards the end of prep. So this right here, full bowl of tilapia. And then yesterday the queen hooked me up with some salmon. So this is the last bit of it right here. I had the other serving yesterday. So finishing that up. But pretty much the only protein I intake is salmon, tilapia, and eggs. All right, y'all, let me give y'all a quick hack on the sweet potatoes. What I do is I put them in the oven at night for about an hour, maybe 75 minutes, depending on the size. And then I keep them wrapped up in aluminum foil like this, and I let it sit overnight. And then it comes out like this, easy to peel. See how the skin just comes right off? And nice, soft sweet potatoes. So that is the small hack. It just depends on how you like your sweet potatoes, but I like them like this, nice, soft, and I like the skin to peel, just so easy. So that right there, guys, is the hack. Let it sit overnight, still wrapped up in aluminum foil. Put it in a Tupperware if you want, but yes, works every time, look at that. That right there, to me, is a perfect sweet potato and it's getting everything off. Look at that, that's the skin. So all the sweet potato is off. I have a ton of them right here. And look how big that is, just like that. Come on, come on. Not X Factor giving y'all some cooking tips. Been doing this for a while, guys. So I'm figuring out what works, figuring out what doesn't work. But that's the hack right there. Sweet potato hack, baby. <laughs> All right, y'all, we have made it to meal number three. So let me tell you about meal number two. So meal number two was in the office. I spaced it out about an hour a piece. First, I went ahead and ate the four rice cakes. I had four rice cakes with some sugar-free jam, some sugar-free blackberry preserves on there. You've seen that in the previous four day of eatings. If you haven't, check those out. I pretty much have four tablespoons, so one tablespoon on each rice cake. Just did that. And then about an hour later, I went ahead and did 40 grams of cream of wheat. And then I topped it with 108 grams of banana. That was pretty much a combined meal, but I wanted to space it out just for digestion. Wanted to make sure everything passed through. Nice stomach, still tight, everything is in check. So that's pretty much what I'm going for when I'm doing my refeeds. I'm trying to make sure that everything is digesting well. And you'll notice your cream of rice, your cream of wheats, maybe your oatmeal. I don't know, I stopped eating oatmeal really. I only mess around with the cream of wheat and cream of rice. And then of course you got your bananas, rice cakes, they obviously digest pretty well, but it's all personal no preference it's about what works well for your body i know for sure it works for mine so that was that let me go ahead and read you off the macronutrients because you guys love it and i track it so i might as well just tell you what it is so that whole meal was 548 calories we're looking at zero fat so if you're looking for some low fat meals that was that then we had 127 grams of carbs and 22 grams of protein 16 grams of fiber, that's pretty good. So fiber was up there. So yeah, pretty hefty meal, 100 plus carbs. That's what I'm going for. We're doing pretty well. I'm currently editing the last full day of eating of a refeed or one of the last, and it was where I did 700 carbs. I couldn't quite get down the amount I wanted because I wanted 800 to 1,000. I couldn't get it down and I saw why. It's because I was spacing my meals out way too much and I wasn't adding enough carbs in each meal. So we're changing that up today. Now, meal number three. Let's talk about it, let's get into it. This right here is gonna be the best meal of the day. I promise you that. This right here, you're looking at five ounces of air fried salmon. My wife hooked it up for me. She seasoned it very well. She is a master chef. And then we have 10 ounces of sweet potato. This morning, you saw my quick tutorial on how to make your sweet potatoes real legit. It doesn't get no better than that. That is what you're looking at right here. The best sweet potatoes in the world. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and use two packets of stevia nothing special nothing crazy just stevia and for the stevia it's pretty much just right here on on the sweet potatoes and then i stir it all in so that gives it some good sweetness i wish i had honey i would have added honey to my salmon and then i'm using my daughter's lovely fork get you a small fork when you are dieting and you have smaller meals get you small utensils it'll make you feel like you're eating a ton of food or just take you longer to eat the meal and so you think you're eating a lot you guys hear that Yes, sir. That's what we're dealing with right here. Let me give you the macronutrients really quick. So for this meal, we are looking at 463 calories. We have nine grams of fat. Obviously the fat is coming from the salmon. So if you want a more leaner fish, tilapia. And then we have 59 grams of carbs. We could have did more. Like I said, I left the honey at the house. That's okay. I have some more food in the office. And then we have 33 grams of protein. So a decent amount of protein. Anywhere from 25 to 35 is what I like to shoot for when I'm on my high carb days. So that's really legit. All right, let me go ahead and dig into this meal real quick. I want to chill out. You guys know I come to the car. I chill out for a minute. Today's going to be a good day. We're going to have a leg day. So energy is 
up as of right now i'm gonna say as of right now because energy always declines throughout the day but right now the energy is high and i'm just feeling like it's going to be a really good leg day today we got carbs we got vascularity we're focused y'all we are almost two weeks out man we have been grinding grinding if you know anything about contest prep it is a grind here's the salmon right here guys get you one of these juicy pieces so real simple man just cut it up season it up you may want to use some olive oil but you can just throw it right there in the air fryer man and it's good to go time it how you want to time it because it's all personal preference yeah in the air fryer for ain't no more than 10 minutes really it just depends on the size of the salmon but really good I told y'all it's pescatarian from here on. I'm eating all fish. All right, y'all got some more eating to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this meal up and I'll catch you guys at the next one. All right, y'all, I done screwed up, boy. Way too much fiber. Those sweet potatoes are coming through me, TMI, but I'm stinking up the place, y'all. Too much fiber, you know, so I'm gonna keep that in mind moving forward, uh, but I pretty much had 20 ounces of cooked sweet potatoes so far. Um, and normally I'm only around like 12 to 14 because I, I normally have about six to seven ounces in each meal when I do have the sweet potatoes. But today I did 10 ounces and boy, oh boy, stomach is on fire. I even took my digestive pills. Anywho, we on our way to the gym right now. I got a Rice Krispie for the pre-workout. Quick snack, low fat, high carb, so that's pretty legit. I'm trying to actually keep my fats a little bit lower today because tomorrow I'll probably hike them back up. So this is the perfect snack to have pre-workout. But yeah, we got legs. So I'm on my way to the gym. I'm catch y'all there. Sheesh. All right, y'all, before we get too deep into this workout, I got to tell you about the meals. This is the full day of eating. So before you saw that Rice Krispie, when I was talking about the sweet potato, that's because I had another 10 ounces. But before that, I had four rice cakes, four tablespoons of sugar-free jam. You guys saw that already, but I did another one. So that was pretty much a snack. And then after that, I went ahead and had four ounces of tilapia, 10 ounces of cooked sweet potato. So similar to the salmon and sweet potato, but this time it was tilapia, pescatarian, straight fish. That's how I'm bringing that leanness. But yeah, those are the meals that I had at work that you didn't see or I didn't talk about. Macronutrients for the tilapia meal was 399 calories, three grams of fat, 59 carb, and 35 protein. And then the rice cakes, just like you saw before, 180 calories, no fat, 48 grams of carbs, and four protein. So that's all I had for the Rice crispy, and I had the Rice crispy. And I just did 20 minutes in the sauna. This is the first exercise here. You guys saw some working sets. Really trying to bring it today since I got these carbs and I got my energy up. I really need to hit it. Now we're gonna move on to the next exercise. Let's get it. All right, y'all, it is official. The strength has left the building. I'm gonna try five plates. My main issue is depth. So I can't really bring my quads, my knees to my chest. And it's too heavy. Now, one thing I am doing is supersetting. So I'm coming here, putting that emphasis on the quad. Then I'm going here, pressing through the heels, putting the emphasis on the hamstring. So I am supersetting. So when you superset exercises, you don't tend to have to go so heavy anyways. All right, let's see. That's about as far as I can go, guys. Woo! Oof. 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 Then I rest for about 20, 30 seconds. And I can do more load on here, so I'll be able to go deep on here simply because I'm pressing through the heels. I can put a lot more attention on the hamstring. Pressing up like that, you'll see. But that right there took a lot out of me. And as you notice, I was barely getting low. So no matter what, I put a lot of tension on the quad. But I'll probably strip it down to three or two places just so I can bring it a little lot lower. And get a larger range of motion. We're almost two weeks out, guys. 16 days out today. We're not building any muscle anyways. Now I'm coming here, dropping through the hills.
Who says eight on both? Better said a set of eight reps on both. Ah. Uh. Sheesh. All right, you guys, I am home now. Just whipped up a quick post-workout meal, post-workout snack, let's be clear. I have 50 grams of cream of wheat. I have 70 grams of frozen blueberries. And I just did one serving of the sugar-free syrup right here. So that right there is a good snack. Get those carbs in, digest them well after a good workout. The leg day was legit. I kept it pretty simple. I'm in the gym for about 60 minutes now, man. I'm not building muscle, like I said, so I don't need to be in there extremely long. And I also did the sign up for 20 minutes and I posed for 20 minutes, which you are probably seeing right here that is how we're looking right now feeling good looking good that's actually after 500 grams of carbs have been shuffled in the body also post-workout we had some skittles gummies so just a few of those i had them in the car and i really wanted to taste them so i got those in good simple sugars post-workout nothing too crazy but yeah getting this in and yeah the posing is it's legit man we we bringing something serious this time around so um, i just went back on some tapes on my last refeed or one of my refeeds where i took in 700 carbs and i woke up the next morning flat but pretty decent so therefore by me getting in about 800 900 today tomorrow's gonna be legit ride that wave and we'll be on point for saturday so we'll see how it goes but i'm gonna go ahead and eat this oh yeah macros for the cream of wheat that's going to be 373 calories we got zero fat so this is a nice zero fat post-workout meal we got 72 grams of carbs and 21 grams of protein so we get a good chunk of protein from the cream of wheat you'll be surprised i'll show you the box so this right here is the cream of wheat that i'm consuming right here it comes in little packets but i just take the packets out and i weigh it out like that so i can make make sure i'm keeping track of everything each packet is only 28 grams so to keep more control of it i just weigh out what i need and then i put the remainder inside of a ziploc bag and use it for later all right y'all so we're moving pretty swift today it is 7 15 right now at night what i'm about to do is load up five of these mini muffins right here so here is the mini muffins you guys normally see me eat the larger muffins the reason why i opted for these ones is simply because my wife is also counting her macronutrients and tracking her calories and normally when i buy the big muffins she is unable to eat a full one she normally eats like a third or a half and just for the mental sake eating one whole one makes you feel a little better and it's easier to track smaller and one and done i did that for her but so for me you've seen me actually eat these before i actually had six pre-workout and six post-workout in one of my videos and right now i'm just going to get five in and so i wanted to say that because i tracked it all already it's 100 calories a muffin so it's 500 calories we got 60 grams of carbs 25 grams of fat and five grams of protein so what i'm trying to do right now is keep my proteins where they're at simply because i'm at my max so for today i wanted my protein to be 185 to 190 and right now we are at 180 nine right on the money the carbs i want about 850 to 900 if we can get a thousand we can get a thousand but i really want 850 to 900 simply because i haven't went over 800 i don't remember what the last one was i think it was like somewhere under 850 i just can't remember but today i want 850 and above right now we're at 691 after i eat these carbs right here and then for fats i want no more than 80 85 all right that's my range 80 to 85 i'm trying to keep it like that right now we are at 70 so we're pretty legit with the numbers guys tmi i had two bowel movements today so i'm feeling pretty good digestion is okay let me show you guys where we're at so that right there is relaxed you know so have a little bit of distortion right there but guys i'm taking in a ton of carbs right now i can still tighten up i can still see a little bit of striations on the obliques over here even over here we got a little bit so pretty legit at where we're at i actually was looking at some photos and clips from the last refeed where i did 700 let me show you what it looks like so that top photo that you see is the morning of and then the bottom is after about 600 grams of carbs so pretty much at the end of the night and same thing for this comparison so the top is the morning and the bottom is the night i'll try to pull up and show you guys the morning but it, you know it really doesn't matter i'll show you guys tomorrow morning and show you how i wake up i don't know what the scale is reading right now i haven't stepped on the scale we're doing pretty good with water 
water as well. This right here, this is my second one. We only have a little bit left and that is two gallons for today. So I'm super glad about that because getting in two gallons of water, guys, is not easy. And if you tell me you drink two gallons a day, I know you're lying simply because you would complain about drinking two gallons a day. A lot of people complain about drinking one gallon a day. It is not easy. Here's what the muffins are looking like, guys. Nice, small. You can see the comparison of my hand. Nice, small, man. You just get these in. If you are tracking your calories, tracking your macronutrients, and you like muffins, I would say opt for the smaller ones. 100 calories per muffin. Easy. I'm going to go ahead and get five of these down, and then we're going to move on to the next meal. All right, y'all, this is what it has come to, but we are doing good, so it doesn't even matter. But I have three servings of cereal in here. This is, again, another rice cereal. Super legit. This is Special K. You'll see me eating another full day of eating. But again, if this is your first time checking out the videos, this is the cereal that I'm currently consuming. And then we have seven rice cakes, so that is a whole sleeve. If you purchase rice cakes, it will come with 14 in them. You got one sleeve, and then you got another sleeve. And then I have three tablespoons of one sugar-free jam and three tablespoons of another which are the ones that you always see me consuming and maybe this one if you haven't seen it but this one as well so the only issue with this meal right here is the simple fact that i don't have anything to go with this cereal i don't want to consume any more protein and obviously i'm not drinking any milk so that's the only issue with that other than that man standard meal snack whatever you want to call it the rice case can be a little excessive but again we are trying to get in our carbohydrates and so it is what it is and rice cakes is a really good form of carb to get in sugar-free jam if it doesn't mess your stomach up i'd say go for it now i do have a meal after this or a snack after this something that i'm going to finish that off with that is super super legit amazing so i do encourage you to watch this video to the end because the last treat is going to be a good one and so when we finish that up the total for the day is going to be 207 grams of protein more than i wanted about 18 19 20 more than i wanted but it's okay if i would have ate less salmon that could have helped me out if i would have had less protein in the morning with the cream of wheat that would have helped out so hey you put, we played this one by ear and we didn't know how it was going to turn out but 207 protein and then we have 84 grams of fat which is right on the money we wanted no more than 85 we got 84 very very pleased with that now the carbs the carbs this is what we're finishing that off with 933 that is amazing the goal for these refeeds is to get better and better so we did 800 first actually in the beginning we did like 500 maybe 400 then we did 800 then we did 700 because we couldn't quite get it all in and today we are doing 900 so 933 grams of carbs. I'm gonna check back in with you guys in a bit so we can get down that last treat and then we're going to bed. I'm also gonna pose at the end of this. Make sure that you stick around again to the end. Subscribe if you have not already. I'm gonna go ahead and eat and then I'm gonna catch you guys in a bit. All right, you guys, last and final treats for the night, donuts. We have found the mini donuts. I was in Walmart and I was just walking over there to the bakery just to see what they had, just to see if I can find some low calorie, low fat items. And I found the mini donuts, the chocolate and vanilla mini donuts. I'm extremely excited. I love donuts. Donuts is my very, my, my top, my most favorite dessert ever in this world is a donut. Actually the maple bacon donut to be exact, but just donuts in general, man, are my go-tos if I have a decision to make on which treat I'm going to get. Donuts, then we got brownies, then we got cookies, but donuts is top. So for three of these, we're getting 10 grams of fat, 26 carb, and I think only three protein. So really low cal. And this is what took my fats right to where they needed to be. So all I needed was 10 more grams of fat. And here it was. So it was perfect. It was clutch. So we got vanilla with maybe caramel on top. I'm not sure what that actually is, but uh, they're actually soft. <laughs> I hit the jackpot. Right there, you see the posing, or right here. I think probably right here. That's a better place to put it. So that's the posing right here. This is at the end of the night. So you guys have seen it before me. So I'm, I can't even talk about the physique because I haven't seen it yet. After I get this down, I'm gonna let it digest. I'm gonna get ready for bed and everything like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and come back down to pose, hit a few rounds just to see how full we got tonight. Normally when you refeed or carb load in preparation for a show day, what you wanna do is kind of spill over a little bit. That's normally what they say you should do, the scientists. They say you should spill over 
over a little bit because everything will digest. And then in the morning, you will wake up right on the money. A lot of times folks don't spill over or they spill over too much and then they wake up spilled over. Now they got to adjust. So that's one of the benefits of carb loading now. So today is Thursday. Tomorrow is a day where you can bring the fats back up. We can bring the protein back up and we can drop the carbs back to their normal state or even a little lower. And that's going to help still get rid of the water. And it's also going to help tighten up some more. And if you're full, it's going to help you keep that fullness by just increasing the fats and dropping the carbs. I had to do my own research too. I'm my own coach. So everything that I'm doing or everything that I talk about is through experience, trial and error. It's through reading and research. And it's from just talking to people and learning the game. These donuts are extremely good. But anyways, uh, y'all let me know, comment down below on what that physique is looking like, man. Are we looking good tonight? That's 933 cards right there. And then tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and pose as well. So I might put tomorrow morning physique update right there. And so that's what we're looking like tomorrow morning. And then on the screen right here, you are seeing the weight from this morning, which was 180.6. And then you're seeing tomorrow morning. I'm hooking y'all up with so much data. And this is what you want to do, man. Regardless if you record yourself or not, when you go through these contest prep, you want to make sure that you are documenting everything that you're eating, everything that you're doing. So then you can just get better over time. Every show, every prep, just get better and better. This right here is my best prep. This is my most scientific prep, my most strategized prep, my best looking prep, my longest prep. This prep right here is everything. This is a mature prep for me. This is my mature state. I'm 33 years old. This is it. I don't make no sense why these donuts are so good. Walmart? That is crazy. This is the chocolate with the sprinkles right here. I keep sucking my teeth because the icing on this is really good. Man, it's different. Wow. My kids are going to love these tomorrow. I'm going to let them get a couple of them. They're so small, man. I'm going to let them get about two or three of them. If we wake up, and I'm going to put it on the screen. If we wake up, today was 180.6. If we wake up on point tomorrow, full, vascular, just ready. And then we only wake up, let's say, what, 182? 183. I'm not really sure how many how many pounds I want to gain. I want the carbs to be in my body and digested and work and with the water and everything. So I do want to gain weight, maybe three to five pounds. I actually don't even know. So who cares about that? But we wake up looking crazy, looking on point, and I look in this mirror and I look at the clips. If that video right there was 20 times better than that video right there, I'm gonna let my kids eat these donuts for breakfast. Y'all got my word. I'm gonna let them eat for breakfast and I'm gonna show y'all.